Now, it's a long time since I've been to the movies and I don't have a television set, so maybe I'm missing something. But really, I can't bring myself to watch half the movies and dramas that are on offer, mainly because, in most cases, they're really badly written. Now, there's no sour grapes here or anything. I mean, I'm just a, a hobbyist, and I think I can be excused if my videos are badly plotted. But from the professionals, I expect a little bit more class. There are certain storytelling techniques that they use time and time again, and it really does get a little bit boring. I wish they wouldn't, but they insist on it. Because I like throwing convention to the winds, let's begin at the end. There's a technique called Deus Ex Machina, which is Latin for God from the Machine. It's a way of getting your characters out of trouble if you can't think of any other way to do it because you've completely painted them into a corner. It works something like this. Okay, what can we do now? We can't go back because of the army chasing us. We can't go forward because of the shark infested waters. We can't go left because of the swamps. And we can't go right because it's enemy territory. What can we do? Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, it's a totally gratuitous and hitherto completely unmentioned alien spacecraft coming to save us. Hooray! How fortunate. Of course, if what you're watching is a sitcom, then they have something called the reset button technique. Basically, writers of sitcoms have a problem. Uh, they want exciting and interesting things to happen in their episodes, but because their shows are often syndicated and not always shown in the correct order, they have to make sure that everything at the end of the episode is exactly the same as it was at the beginning. Hey guys! <laughs> hey! Guess what? John and Alice have solved their marital problems just like that, and Hank's arrest was the result of a, of a stupid and completely hilarious misunderstanding and the police have let him off, and I faked my own death. <laughs> so I guess all's well that ends well, huh? An info dump is that technique when all action stops, just to let us know exactly what it is that's going on. Okay, okay, okay. Time out, time out, we need to explain this to the folks at home. And there are various different ways of doing this that crop up time and time again. You can have the good guy explain the plot to a dumb sidekick. Okay, now listen very, very carefully. Very carefully indeed. Now Slim Joe and his cronies, they're on their way here now, okay? And the reason they're on their way here is because they think that I stole the purple diamond, but it wasn't me, it was Maloney, all right? So, now listen, we don't have a second to lose. So, just stand there for five minutes while I explain how this bomb works. You can have a clever sidekick reading the good guy's thoughts. Wait! You mean it couldn't have been Peterson? But that means it must have been Smith. <gasps> you don't mean to say that we've been following the wrong guy all the time. We have? Oh no. But why should it always be the good guys? Why not get the bad guys to do it? Since you're going to die anyway, I feel there's no harm in telling you exactly why I'm doing this. Which of course is absolute genius because it serves two purposes. Number one, it explains the plot to us. Number two, it gives the good guy time to escape. Sometimes they try to blind us with pseudoscience in a technique that's known as technobabble. You often hear it in Star Trek, but it's not just in Star Trek, it's all over the place. Okay, so all we need to do is to connect the sub-ether multi-directional network simulator to the RS-405 card and recycle the power through the hydraulic rams while maintaining a torque resistance of 45.2 which should reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. And the thing is that if you analyse them in absolutely every single case the science makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And of course the point of any drama is that things happen and they have to be set up before they happen which generally means that you can tell more or less what's going to happen um, just by paying attention to the way that it's set up. Let me give you an example. Look at me. I have money. I'm married to a beautiful but superficial woman. And I'm incredibly happy even though I lead a fairly humdrum life. What could possibly go wrong? Well, I guess that you get divorced. Your ex bleeds you dry, but you find fulfillment hiking through the Rockies. 
Look at me. I have absolutely zero success with women and here I am on a blind date with a gorgeous girl who really, really hates my guts. I wonder what's going to happen next. Hmm, I wonder. And finally, a collection of some of the lines that you hear so often in the movies, but which nobody ever actually says. Ha <laughs> ha! Nothing can stop me now! But, but, I love you! Honey, I'm not angry because you did it. I'm angry because you lied about it. You killed him! It's a million to one chance, but it might just work. Look, I've never said this to anyone before, but when I was a kid, I had... FOLLOW THAT CAR! It's the end of the world. Nah, just feels like it.